welcome back to Kelly Barlow Creations. If you are new to my channel and you are stopping by for the first time, welcome to my channel. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below as well. What do I got going on today? Today I am bringing to you a Dollar General and a Dollar Tree haul combined. We went to both places and I gotta tell you, Dollar General has got some amazing farmhouse decor right now. I was really excited about some of the finds that I found and I couldn't wait to share them with you. So I am definitely gonna be sharing those with you today. And as far as the Dollar Tree goes, I picked up a bunch of items for upcoming DIYs. I also wanted to share with you today a bit of subscriber mail that I received this week. And I received this mail from Candy Salisbury from Davenport, Iowa. Candy, thank you so much for your subscriber mail. She sent me some amazing stickers from the Dollar Tree and she did some DIY scrapbooking stuff and some bookmarks that were just amazing. So thank you so much for thinking of me and sending me some subscriber mail this week. So let's jump into this haul because I am excited to show you all the farmhouse decor that the Dollar General is now carrying and the items that I will be using for upcoming DIYs from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna start this haul off with the farmhouse decor pieces that I found from Dollar General and I am loving them all. I found this boxed frame with burlap and thumbtacks. I did a recreation of something very similar to this using Dollar Tree items. I'll leave the link to that video in the description box below. Isn't this just so stinking cute? I loved it and I didn't mind paying the $4 that I paid for it. And would you look at this mason jar tea light holder with chicken wire on the outside of it. Loving that. And this rusted chicken wire basket with the wood handles. Oh my word, does Dollar General have amazing farmhouse decor pieces. And another rusted wire basket with this twill lining. I love these. What a great find and buy. I picked up five of these metal skewers, three come in each pack. These are an item that Dollar Tree carries seasonally. And so if this is something that you've been looking for, you might wanna get it now because it's summer and they may not carry it much longer. Four of their coasters that I will also be using in an upcoming DIY. This is a new item that I've just recently found at my Dollar Tree are these iPads. They are a cucumber iPad. 16 pads come in a box. Loving, loving, loving all the new post-it notes that Dollar Tree's carrying. I picked up this ice cream cone one for Allie, and I picked up this set for me because like you all know, I'm always taking notes and post-its are a must. And I love that they have these little tabs to put in your calendar or organizer if you need to. Picked up two of these plant hangers that have the chains. I'll be utilizing the chain in these for an upcoming DIY. My Dollar Tree just recently got these two new Bolero scents in, this coconut sea salt and this honeysuckle and green tea. For the coconut oil and sea salt, I picked up the oil, the hand lotion, and a bath bar. And I gotta tell you, I really, really love Bolero's oil. I've been using it in place of a cuticle oil because I love it so much. And I use this a couple times a day. I really like it. I even add this oil to the hand lotion as well because I love the way it moisturizes my hands. And around this time of year, my hands get real dry anyway and it's been so windy out that adding the oil to the cream has really helped resolve that problem. And yeah, let me just tell you that this honeysuckle green tea scent that Bolero is carrying is by far now my number one favorite scent. I was really bummed that they didn't have any of the oil or the creams. I'm gonna have to keep my eye open for it because if I see it, I am definitely gonna be snatching more of this scent up because I absolutely love it. And these bath bars, they are enormous. Here, I'll open this. And they last, I kid you not, I would say a couple of months because I don't share my bar soap with anybody. And I'm not a big bar soap fan, but I have been using Bolero's bath bar soaps. And the last one lasted me two months. 
picked up some of the new LA Colors makeup that has just recently been coming out that I'm seeing everywhere. I love this color. This is Love Sick, and it comes with the double uh, lip pencil. I'm also gonna try out this Lush Lashes Mascara by LA Colors. I was surprised that this is a pretty decent sized mascara, and what drew me to it was the brush. Typically, when you get a mascara at the Dollar Tree, the brush is absolutely horrible. And so this applicator brush looks like a decent one. I'm keeping my fingers crossed because if it's a decent brush, you can get a good use out of a mascara. And two of the lip pencils in the color of Edgy and Twirl. I also decided to pick up this Petty Perfect Nail Care Oil. It's in place of a cuticle oil too, I would say. And so I thought I'd try it out even though I really like the Bolero oil. I had previously picked up the Petty Perfect nail file and so I picked up the oil just to see how it works. I also picked up a three pack of these fashion pens. I really like these. These tend to come out around this time every year, right around Mother's Day. I've gifted these for Mother's Day before. These pens work really well and they're a great pen to keep in your purse because they're easy to find. And I also picked up these ceramic banks that you can paint. It comes with the paint already in it. And ceramic figurines are always something fun to paint with Allie. And I think it's just so stinking cute that it's a piggy bank. And so I got the monkey and I got the dog. Just something fun for Allie and I to do this summer. It's time to start stocking up on fun crafts for us to do to keep her busy, and so this will definitely be one of them. And lastly, I picked up three boxes of these mini Jenga blocks that I'll also be using in an upcoming DIY. Well, everybody, that's all I have for you for today for my first Dollar Tree haul of May slash Dollar General. I think I'm definitely going to be making a couple pit stops in Dollar General from here on out just to see what items that they're carrying because their decor is pretty inexpensive and you can find some great pieces at amazing prices. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day, happy everything on a budget, and bye for now, everybody.